Hey y'all, I'm Alex, and this is Soil Mates of Georgia. Welcome to our channel, and today I'm back down at the farm. My dad's on his way down here. We've got three major tasks today. First one, I'm gonna get up on the tractor and mow the bottoms, where we've had so much rain, the forage is great, but now it's going to uh, seed head. Seeds are going ahead. So uh, I'm gonna clip those, see if I can help spur some growth, make it a little bit more palatable for the cows and uh, we've got a tree that fell or a limb that fell up near the house we need to clear out and um, I have a new uh, fence post some of my friends from college bought a tree in honor of my mom when she died and uh, we had a fence around the cow's been rubbing up against it so we're gonna work on that today I think if we have time so those are our three main tasks but right now I'm out in the pasture I'm gonna turn towards the sun hopefully that doesn't mess up the view this is where we had the um, sedan grass and pearl millet and there's a bunch of fescue and bermuda in here in this whole area we just let the cows in here last week but it is so tall still uh it's up to my knees in a lot of spots <clears throat> it's just been great how uh with the we timed it perfectly really sort of rotational grazing uh on another level there's the sun and uh so we kept them out of this field for three months and really, really let it grow. Now they're in here and let me get out of the sun. Uh, now uh, they're in here. They have great forage in here. Two other pastures are closed off now where they're completely resting, really getting ready for this fall stockpile. They'll be able to be in here for uh, another few days. Then we're going to let it rest and recover while everything else uh they get to eat it so this, they'll be able to eat this at least one more time maybe twice if we have good weather through the fall uh, but it's uh it was nice this morning it was in uh, 62 and i woke up in atlanta it's about 70 down here now so i start so not bad at all so let's get up to 88 degrees so i'm gonna try to get on the tractor and knock some stuff out before it gets just boiling hot again so this is my day on the farm i just walked the entire fence line after i finished mowing and move the post over about a wheel's length uh, or mower's length so maybe eight feet six eight feet the mower's eight so probably a little bit less than that the way i did it but now i can come back through and mow again see if i don't know if you can be able to see here uh, how much room there is on this side now i can come back through on that and mow it it's a lot easier than taking the brush cutter by hand and trying to do it and uh, what was cool, the last time I did this, it took me a long time because I was filming it. This time I just wanted to see, walking at a normal pace, how long it would take me. It was only 11 minutes. I moved 68 posts, so that's pretty pretty easy work, really. Now I'll run the tractor through it. That'll take just probably going the length of it, uh, maybe, uh, maybe eight minutes, probably twice as long. Uh, I move pretty slow on the tractor intentionally, especially when I'm near the, the fence so I don't hit it. Uh, but that was pretty cool to me. I was, I was curious how long. I thought it was going to take me closer to 20 minutes, if not 30. But uh, pretty easy work. You can see where I had mowed. I've already mowed on this side when the fence was right there. Now I've moved it over to here. So I just did a straight line, just covering that one strip. This tree had a fence around it. Just some. Uh, chicken wire or not chicken wire uh, hog wire or something like that and we've had this tree for a couple of years and it's still small but it was the post we had around it originally to protect the tree from the cows and the deer eating on it had all been uh, pushed and the tree had outgrown it so we spread out the post and put some new wire around it and we have a pretty big gap on the bottom which actually makes it easier when we what we found out when we tried to clip around it before, the weeds were kind of getting protected by the wire that uh, blocked us from getting there. So we just want to have a little bit, it's almost just more of a, a, a visual barrier for the cows. They can push on it and get in a little bit and the deer, but they won't use it. They can't get in here and use the tree as a scratching post now. And I think it'll somewhat limit how much a deer can get in there and eat the leaves because it was bare. Um, maybe 18 months ago or last summer and now it's coming back so i think it's fine maybe by next year when we need a fence around it it'll be big enough especially if we get another good rain year but it's good so my friends who come camping with me down here every year after my mom died so 
So they wanted to do something for her and we agreed that uh, planting a tree in her honor and this uh, plaque over here has her name on it. Uh, but it would be something that uh, when we camp, we camp out uh, right down here where that uh, pile of wood is over there. And so we'll be able to see it and our kids will be able to see it as they come down here and camp with us over the years. We finished up everything we wanted to. Uh, got the pasture mowed, got the limb taken care of, picked some muscadines, got the fixed fence, the muscadines were extra. And uh, then we were able to come up and find the cows. Uh, they all look good, have a couple of new calves on the ground and two more mamas looks like they are due any day now. So uh, I'm gonna close out. Uh, thanks for joining and I'll, uh, she wanted to say hi. Uh, close out and uh, leave you with some extra footage of the cows I just took and maybe some more I'll get in a second. Thanks for watching y'all. Bye. There's the new calf. There's the new calf. Looks like a little bull calf. Pretty, handsome, sturdy, good lines. She might be bred right there too, Dad, on the left. Yeah, she looks like a, more of a heifer, but she looks just so full, just healthy. Are you coming over for a close-up? Come here, girl. Come here. Here comes kindergarten class for the summer calves. All looking playful. Just go right under the fence there. Yeah, that's another option. That's kindergarten. We've got preschool that made it up earlier. These are a few months older. Let's see how jittery they are if I walk slowly up to them. You're jittery coming up. You're all excited. What's all this mooing about? There we go. Give them a win. This after this winter, they'll be used to me because they'll we'll feed them sweet feed and feed them hay, and they get a lot more used to us. But these young ones haven't spent much time around the shit. There's number two. That was the second calf of the year we had. He's looking. Bit. Very nice. Come on, you two. You can come on up. I'll back up. 